back again with a brand new video. Now, as you can see, I've got the preview pages open for macOS Sonoma, macOS Ventura, and macOS Monterey. And what I wanted to talk about today is the amount of Intel devices we are now seeing that are being dropped by Apple, the transition that's now fully complete with Apple Silicon, and what the future will look like for macOS support for our beloved Intel machines and what we may have to do going forward. So guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy this one. Let's look back all the way to macOS Mon Monterey. Now, as we can see, Monterey is supported on the iMac late 2015 and later, iMac Pro 2017 and later, MacBook Air early 2015 and later, MacBook Pro 2015 and later, Mac Pro uh, late 2013 trash can and later, Mac Mini late 2014 and later, and MacBook the, swim the slim 12 inch one early 2016 and later. Now we can see Monterey supported a large amount of devices, a large amount of Intel machines um, going all the way back to 2015. Now, if we now fast forward to Mac OS Ventura that came out in 2022 last year, we can see that the support seems to have been um, dropping a lot of Intel machines. Now we can see that the iMac has now changed from 2015 to 2017 and later, so 2016 gets dropped. The iMac Pro 2017, uh, MacBook Air, the requirement is now 2018 and later. The MacBook Pro 2017 and later, so say goodbye to your 2015 and 16 machines. The Mac Pro fully drops the trash can, which was absolutely disastrous um, because it's now only just 2019 and later. The Mac Studio. 2022 is the only one that came out in 2022 uh, mac mini 2018 and later and also the macbook slim completely obliterates the 2015 and 16 models and you're going to get support on the late on the last one which is 2017 um, if we now move across to mac OS sonoma we can see the support is even <laughs> even less so imac 2019 and later imac pro still 2017 is the only one MacBook Air 2018 and later, MacBook Pro 2018 and later, so goodbye to your 2017s, Mac Pro 2019 and later, Mac Studio 2022 and later, and the Mac Mini, which is 2018 and later. About the differences between each Mac OS version since Monterey, we can see Monterey was still largely supporting quite a lot of devices. Now, when we saw Ventura, we saw so many devices being dropped, especially everything went from 2015 onwards to 2017 and onwards. Now, the 2016 devices were more than capable of running Monterey, and we saw a lot of that thanks to developers who created OpenCore Legacy Patcher. So it was very confusing why Apple decided to drop some of those 2016 or all the 2016 devices. Now, when Ventura transition to Sonoma, which is what we have today that Apple released, um, we see far greater, another two year iteration being dropped in most places. Now, um, we can see the iMac is obviously now just 2019. And of course, MacBook Air, MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro is 2018 and later. Um, the 2017 devices were probably more than capable of running Sonoma. And I'm pretty sure OpenCore Legacy Patcher will have a faster support for those devices. Um, as soon as the team gets around working on Sonoma support. Um, it's crazy that Apple have done this. I don't understand. I'm not saying that Apple sh should completely support these devices going forward all the time. But they were devices that are more than capable of running the operating system. It's just a decision to start crippling Intel machines. And... Of course, Apple are transitioning to Apple Silicon. The Apple Silicon, is, the transition is actually completed. And because of that completion to the transition, Apple will start killing off Intel machines quicker. Um, and that's going to cause a lot of problems for a lot of people. Because still, there are a lot of people who rely on Intel machines because you can do boot camp. You can still natively game on it if you have a Windows partition on it. Um, there's support for eGPUs. There is also support for the Mac Pro 2019 Tower for greater GPU support natively for AMDs. So it just means that Apple is trying to force us into going for an Apple Silicon upgrade, which 
so be it apple can it's a business at the end of the day apple want to make sure that people are running the latest and greatest and apple silicon is a far superior chip than intel but a lot of people still buy intel machines because of those other benefits as i mentioned you like now that everything has transitioned to Apple Silicon, Apple will be dropping macOS support for Intel machines quite quickly. I believe currently we're already at the 2019 and 2017 mark for most devices. We're probably going to see far greater drop in support for these machines going forward. I'm pretty sure next year's requirement will probably be 2019 and later for a lot of these. And the people who spend a large amount of money on a Mac Pro, such as I did, my 16 core model is probably going to be dropped by 2025, which isn't that long in terms of support. The trash can 2013 Mac Pro got around nine years of OS updates. That is insane. And for Apple to give less support to a lot of these devices, it's 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 ridiculous. However, as I mentioned, it's a business model. Apple want to make sure that everyone's on Apple Silicon chips. Apple Silicon chips are fantastic. I'm not denying that. But it just it's just ridiculous to see a lot of these devices, which are more than capable of running the Mac OS versions, uh, seeing, report, seeing support being dropped for them. Now, we obviously know about OpenCore Legacy Patcher. I've mentioned them several times before in my previous videos. Mac OS Ventura, which dropped us support for quite a lot of devices. We saw, as mentioned here, there was around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 devices dropped support for Mac OS Ventura, and these guys were able to get support back for most of them. My beloved trash can, which I will do a video on how to install Mac OS Ventura on it, uh, got support and everything works absolutely fine. No issues. It, wor it works as as how Mac OS Monterey did. And what's also exciting is the open core legacy patcher for Mac OS Sonoma is going to be started by the developers in terms of work. And we can already see that there's two screenshots provided that they are able to get Sonoma working on the 6.1 trash can Mac Pro um, with still a, a bit of work still left to do for them to, to officially release this to the public. Now, I can't wait for, me, for being able to install Sonoma on my trash can and help the developers out with any testing that needs to be done. But it's good to see that they're already on it um, and focusing their attention. Now, there is a bit of issues going on in terms of the the, the graphics cards, um, especially the 2012 Mac Pros and before. However, I'm pretty sure those talented developers will definitely get them running very soon a lot of people have been successful in getting sonoma to boot but have issues in terms of either acceleration not being there um seeing green screening happening a lot wi-fi and bluetooth not working so we will see it'll be interesting to see how the summer goes what we will see in terms of sonoma support now the developers did say it will take around six months to support sonoma and guys please do not pester them they are a very talented and very busy bunch I, if I were you, I would definitely give them some praise. And if you can, give them a tip as well, if possible. They're very hard. They're doing this because they love macOS support and they hate to see support being dropped for devices that can absolutely run them with no issues. So, yeah, that's my take on this entire situation. But you guys let me know what you think. This is the Macintosh Guide, guys. This is my little rant about Apple dropping Intel devices left front and center and i'll catch you guys of course in the next one